Hello and welcome to this video on France's retirement reform. In recent years, the French government has been working on reforming its retirement system to address its financial sustainability and adapt to changing demographics. In this video, we will discuss the background and details of the reform, its controversies and its implications for the French people. Background The French retirement system is based on a pay-as-you-go model where current workers' contributions finance the benefits of current retirees. This system has been in place since the end of World War II and has been subject to numerous reforms over the years. However, the system has been facing significant financial pressures due to an aging population, a low birth rate and a high unemployment rate. The French government estimates that the retirement system could face a deficit of 17 billion euros by 2025 if no action is taken. Details of the reform in December 2019, the French government proposed the Retirement Reform Bill, which sparked nationwide protests and strikes. The bill aims to unify the 42 different retirement regimes in France, including those for public sector workers, railway workers and civil servants. The current system allows some workers, such as those in certain professions, to retire earlier and receive higher pensions than others. Under the proposed reform, a universal points-based system would be introduced where workers would accumulate points based on their contributions and could retire once they reach a certain number of points. The reform also includes raising the retirement age from 62 to 64, although workers would still be able to retire earlier with a penalty. The government argues that the reform would create a fairer and more sustainable system, where everyone is treated equally regardless of their profession or sector. However, opponents of the reform argue that it would lead to a reduction in pensions for many workers, particularly those in physically demanding jobs and would harm the most vulnerable in society. Controversies the proposed reform has sparked significant controversy and protests across France. In January 2020, France experienced its longest transport strike in decades, with railway workers, metro workers and bus drivers striking for over a month. The strike disrupted transport services across the country, with many people unable to get to work or school. Protesters argue that the reform would result in a reduction in pensions for many workers particularly those in physically demanding jobs and would harm the most vulnerable in society. They also argue that the reform is part of a broader trend of neoliberalism and austerity measures that prioritise the interests of the wealthy over those of the working class. The French government, on the other hand, argues that the reform is necessary to ensure the long-term sustainability of the retirement system and to address the country's financial struggles. Implications the retirement reform has significant implications for the French people, particularly those who will be retiring in the coming years. If the reform is implemented, it could result in a reduction in pensions for many workers, particularly those in physically demanding jobs. It could also lead to longer working lives for some as the retirement age is raised from 62 to 64. The reform could also have broader implications for French society and politics. The protests and strikes sparked by the reform highlights the deep divisions and tensions within French society, particularly between the working class and the government. The reform has also highlighted the challenges of implementing significant reforms in a democratic society, particularly when they are opposed by powerful interest groups. Conclusion In conclusion, the retirement reform proposed by the French government aims to address the financial challenges facing the French retirement system. However, the reform has sparked significant controversy and protests, with the opponents arguing that it would lead to a reduction in pensions for many workers and harm the most vulnerable in society. The implementation of the reform could have significant implications for French society and politics. Let me know what your thoughts are on the riots and what the government is doing to the French people in the comments below. Like the video and see you in the next one.